Wow. Just wow. Um, I just got done watching Neves Knives' video uh, about the Leon Ma controversy. And um, I have to say, I'm really, really shocked at how Leon Ma handled the situation. Uh, if we look back within the last year or so, we saw what happened between Transparent Knives and Rick Hinderer, where another designer maker uh, basically uh, attacked another figure in the knife community, and it didn't really go well for Hinderer's reputation. And I don't understand how Leon Ma didn't think that this would really go like public and wide and how he he really just blatantly attacked Jared, you know? Uh, I personally have had a uh, long time sort of friendship, acquaintanceship with Jared, and I have always found him to be a very stand up and direct and honest figure within the knife community. And, um, you know, I, I don't understand how him sharing his genuine opinion and feedback on the knife justified such vitriol from Leon Ma. And honestly, I find it completely inexcusable. I mean, everybody is, is going to, for lack of a better way of putting it, everyone's going to fuck up at some point. Uh, but to go on the attack after a fuck up and essentially assail somebody's character uh, and to do so publicly, no less, um, I think is just wholly, wholly unacceptable. It's funny because like, as I prepare to release my own line of like designer... OEM knives, one of the things that I have been really anxious about, if I'm honest with you guys, has been customer service and ensuring that, you know, I, I try to do my best. And, you know, it, it's, let's be frank, like it, it's a difficult difficult waters to navigate, right? Because on one hand, you do have people who have genuine issues, genuine concerns, and you hope to catch those those issues uh, beforehand in QC, right? Uh, but some will still slip through the cracks or people were expecting a certain thing and, you know, it just didn't meet their expectations. There, there's no way around that, right? Uh, and then you have, on the other side, uh, fraudsters, you know, and people who are, um, for lack of a better, better way of putting it, just kind of like trying to dunk on you, shit on you, like whatever, uh, in order to make a name. And that's, that's really, again, that, that's difficult to kind of deal with. And, and I dealt with that before with uh, my, my drone company. I, I used to make a, w one of my models was like eight millimeter thick carbon fiber. And this kid said, you know, he flew it into a tree and it literally like broke in half. And I'm like, how? Like literally how, like I can fly mine into the tree at a hundred miles an hour and it will literally damage the tree. <laughs> so there, there are some people who are, are liars out there, uh, but consistently Jared has shown that he's not one of those people. And he, in my experience, has never really courted controversy for the sake of his own followership uh, or his channel. I mean, l let's be honest, the dude's gone clear at this point. He doesn't really need to generate uh, controversy in order to grow. Uh, <laughs> like, he's already at the top of the, the spectrum, the pecking order. So... I don't know. It, it's it's really it's really surprising to see Leon Ma take this approach 
and not think that it would have really dire consequences for him and the future of his business and his name within the knife community. Um, I'm, I'm truly, truly shocked. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, hop on Jared's latest video that uh, I think the title is I, I wish it didn't have to come to this or something like that. Uh, but uh, truth be told, I was in incredibly surprised watching the video, uh, so much so that I was compelled to make this one. Uh, so for me, one of the things that I have realized, and I, and I was just kind of sharing this thought with my dad regarding this whole situation uh, recently, was that okay so a little bit of backstory and this is kind of how i handle things and how i've handled things in the past but uh before i got into my design program i was dating this girl and she had not gotten accepted into the program at the same time and we had to build portfolios of work, submit them, and the school would then approve us to enter the program. It's selective in that way. It's kind of like showing a resume to even get into your your university, which is kind of interesting. Um, but regardless, she needed to, to fin finish building her portfolio and decided to go back home to Colorado. And in so she wanted to continue our relationship. We had only been dating like two, three months at that point, but she really tried to strong arm me into a long distance situation. And I had been in a long distance relationship previously, uh, which really had been brutal on me and my heart and my emotion. So I communicated this to her and told her like, listen, like I'm not ready or emotionally capable of doing this. Uh, why don't we just kind of take a break and see where we're at when you return? Because I don't know if she's going to be gone for a few months or a few years. And that's a big commitment to make after only dating for two, three months. Regardless, uh, she did some really inappropriate things uh, while she was in Colorado, and then she came back to California where our school was. She applied, she got in, um, like I think the following semester. And from day one, when she got into the program, she started bad mouthing me and talking shit about me. And I had a good friend of mine approach me and say, hey, listen, this chick's talking mad shit about you, you know, like we need to go on the attack. We need to put her in her place. You know, like I got your back. Let's do it. And I told her, uh, my friend who approached me said, listen, she is not worth the time, period. Right. Because the reality is it's going to be one of two things that happen. Either the people who know me and know the content of my character will hear what she's saying and immediately dismiss her, or two, the people who want to believe negative things about me will believe negative things about me regardless because they want to hear negative things about me, <laughs> and they just won't deal with me, right? And because of that, I don't need to get dirty. I don't need to get dirty. I don't need to, to sink to her level and go on the attack or even deal with her in the slightest, right? I can literally just let her do what she's doing and uh, eventually the truth will out, as they say. And that's exactly what happened, you know? And I believe that that's the best approach in, in uh, customer service in a sense, right? Like, do you be a person of good customer service, be a person of good value to the community. Um, and the people who want to, you know, believe in you and support you will believe in you and support you. There are, you're always, if no matter what you do, you're always going to have haters, always going to have people who don't like you or what you're doing. And that's fine. You don't need to win them over. <laughs> but the thing you don't need to do is add fuel to the fire. And that's precisely what 
Leoma did in this situation. And as a result, uh, ended up, I feel, uh, burning himself in the process. And I think what's responsible for this is uh, ego, to be 100% honest with you. Uh, the belief that you can do no wrong and that people owe you something. Um, and the reality is, at least for myself, that I've always tried to kill my ego at every potential opportunity, right? Because um, I'll, without getting like too deep into it, um, some philosophers have speculated that the, the concept of the devil actually uh, stemmed from the ego. He's always on your shoulder. He's always whispering your ear. He's always telling you, you're, you're less than, you should do this or do that, or, you know, you're owed this or owed that, right? Like, and I've kind of subscribed to that thought, that, that the devil is your ego always telling you um, the opposite of what you should be doing. And uh, I, I truly believe that uh, Leon Ma listened to his ego in this situation, and he did the opposite of what he should have done. So, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really shocked, and I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say about this whole situation. Uh, but truth be told, I did not expect it to go down like this. And um, quite frankly, I am genuinely put off. Uh, by this kind of behavior within the community. Um, I didn't like it when, you know, uh, Rick Hinderer did it. I'm definitely not liking it when Leon Ma does it. I don't think it is representative of who we are as a community or a culture. Um, so, I don't know. I just wanted to throw my two cents out there and just kind of be a little transparent about my thoughts about the situation. Not that anybody asked. I mean, who am I? <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it's, it, at least it's a discussion that we should be having, in my opinion. Um, but anyways, hope all is well. That'll be the end of this, and we'll get back to uh, more fun knife content coming up real soon.